Good evening, everyone. Miriwe. Yeah, I'm very happy to stand before you this evening. Uh, we are celebrating the Easter. Uh, and I'm so thankful that you know, that we are able to share the word about the Easter. Uh, this evening, let us open to the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 26. Matayo Jishicha Makumi Nagatandatu. From verse sixty three. Matthew chapter twenty six. From verse sixty three. Matayo Jishicha Makumi Nagatandatu. If you found it, let me read. But Jesus kept silent. Uh, and the high priest answered and said to him, I put you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Yes, I am the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, It is as you said. Nevertheless, I say to you, Hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power, and coming on the clouds of heaven. Yes, Ramos is at Wakabimene. Can the Abrayuko, Hanuma Muzavona, Mana Woman, hm? Each I would you be a Bush was the Pimana, a Jacobich Jumjuru. Then the high priest tore his cloth, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. What further need do we have of witnesses? Look, now you have heard his blasphemy. Then the What do you think? They answered and said, He is deserving of death. Then they spat in his face and beat him, and others struck him with the palms of their hands. Saying, prophesy to us, Christ, who is the one who struck you? Uh, everything in this world has the cause. Suppose that you have the stomachache. There must be the cause of that disease and that pain. Probably you, are, you, you, know, you ate the spoiled food or unpurified water. There must be a reason why you get that disease, that you know, the stomachache. In the same way, you know, God created a man with the clear reason. Why? Because God wanted to pour his love you know, to the human being. However, when we read the Bible, we can see the separation between God and us. Why do you think that you know, we were separated from God? Actually, the love and the mercy that God prepared for us, it is unconditional and it is unlimited. It is not that God loves us because we do things well. The reason why God loves us it is because God created us and there is no condition you know, for God to love us. The world that we are living in right now, there are a lot of conditions. If you do well, you will be loved. You will be recognized. If you work hard, you will get promoted. This is the rule of this world. However, between God and us, there no exists such law, such regulation. Why? Because God loves you and me because he created us. However, that not a relationship was broken because of one thing. Because of sin. 
Sin separated us from our beloved God. That is written in the book of Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2. Sin separated you from your God. And we need to understand what, what brought this sin to us human beings. I remember that some years back I went abroad and I came back to Rwanda. And then I tried to start the car, but you know it did not start. Since I did not have the much knowledge about the car, I asked the one of the pastor to call the mechanic. And the mechanic, you know, that came to check the car. So there was a clear symptom that this car did not start. However, I did not know the cause of that problem. So the mechanic came and he checked here and there. So he opened the bonnet and he checked you know, the, this part and the, the other part. However, you know, the car did not steer the start. So he moved to the, you know, the driver's seat. He was checking on the door that steer. And he found one problem. Then one electric wire was disconnected. And then the mechanic you know, cut the disconnected part, the broken part, and they connected again. After that, you know, he tried to start, and the car started. Now you see that I had this symptom of my car that this car, my car did not start. But it is not that this car did not start without any clear reason. What was the cause of this problem? One, the cable was disconnected. Because of that problem, now this symptom that car did not start happened. And when the mechanic you know, that connected that cable again, this car started, I, I was able to drive my car. In the same way, you know, when, we go to this, when we go to see a doctor, doctor, you know, the check your body first of all. Through the various tests and the exams, now the first of all, you know, the doctor check and get the exact diagnosis. There is no doctor in this world that who just guess the disease of the patient. Did you ever meet the, any doctor who says and we immediately give you the diagnosis? Ah, when I see your face, I think you, know, that you have the malaria, you have the typhoid. When I see your face, I think you know, that you have the malaria, you have the typhoid. No, there is no doctor you know, who says like this. And the doctor is always suggest that maybe you need a blood test, maybe you need a urine test. Maybe you need a blood test, maybe you need a urine test. Those, you know, the test, they will be able to get the exact diagnosis. Why? Because without exact diagnosis, you will be able to get the exact treatment. Like one week before this Easter is called the Passion Week. Uh, uh, which means Jesus was suffering a lot during that week. Even the story that we read today, Jesus was beaten, Jesus was even the spit by these, you know, the Roman soldiers. Why do you think Jesus was struck? Why do you think Jesus was naked? 
utekereza ko iki cyatumye Yesu yambika ubusa Now Roman soldiers even spat on his spat, spat in his face Ingabo za Roma zana mucire mu maso Jesus who is the son of God Yesu urumwana w'Imana who had the great power urufite imbaraga zikomeye authority in heaven on the earth why do you think Jesus was marked like this Yesu urufite ubutware mwese no mwijuru utekereza ko iki cyatumye akwenwa bigezwe bigeza aho Many people many Christians many church goers they said that ah even though Jesus died for our sins but if we commit a sin you know we have to ask for the forgiveness of sins abenshi bajye mu nsengero bajye bavuga ngo nubwo Yesu yapfira ibyaha byacu ariko tugomba guhura dusaye imbabazi byahana none why do you think that people say like that utekereza ko ari iki gitera abantu kuvuga batyo the reason why people say like that is because they do not believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins once or if your sins and my sins could be forgiven by our repentance our confession why do you think jesus came down this world in the flesh and he was crucified at the cross going through all these pains and the sufferings ese utekereza ko ari cyere gutuma Yesu yirirwaza muri isi yambaye umubiri agacomora uko abo barokose kugira ngo akunde Yesu ibyaha byacu actually god could have told us that you repent diligently and your sins will be forgiven you are bityo imana yari kutubwira iti uje wihana no murava mwinshi bizatuma ibyaha byawe bibarirwa you confess your sins diligently uje waturi ibyaha byawe no mwete mwinshi and your sins will be forgiven cyo ibyaha byawe bizababarirwa god would have told us in this way if that was the way However, God sent us Jesus Christ. He spent 33 years on the earth. And then since he was with the flesh that you have and I have, he could feel the pain as you feel. He was beaten and he was even striped he was struck even he was mocked he went through all these great suffering and pains and eventually he, jesus was crucified at the cross he died why what is the reason that Jesus was crucified at the cross? Let us go to the book of Isaiah chapter 53. We shall go to the book of Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4. Here we can see that surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows. Sorry, the verse five, uh, verse four, yes. Yet we esteemed him uh, stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. Yeah, according to the Bible, not a clear day. now God is telling us that Jesus Christ has borne our griefs and they carried out our sorrows. But yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. Uh, Jesus, he, he, you know, the, must have did, must have done something wrong. That's why he's punished. Verse five. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. That chast the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our peace. This is what 
this scripture is telling us the reason why he was uh, wounded the reason why he was bruised it is for your sins and my sins this is what Bible is telling us. I believe that you know this, you know this verse that the wages of sin is death. This is unchangeable, the word of God. The wages of sin is death. This verse stands before us all the time, eternally. Even in the Old Testament, even in the New Testament, this word is still effective. Now, this is what Bible is telling us clearly. The wages of sin is death. That's why even in the Old Testament, whenever the Israelites they commit the sins, they always had to bring this offering, this animal. And this animal had to be killed. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. And then, even in the New Testament, Jesus Christ had to be crucified, had to die. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. Even Jesus, Jesus Christ was under the, this word of God. In order for Jesus Christ to, to wash your sins and to pay for your sins, he had to pay his death for your sins. Let us read the book of Romans. Book of Romans chapter 4, verse 25. Romans chapter 4, verse 25. Who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification? Jesus was delivered up. Because of your offenses, because of your sins. This is what the Bible is telling us. The reason why Jesus had to suffer. The reason why Jesus had to be wounded. The reason why Jesus had to be crucified on the cross. It is because of your sins and my sins. Hallelujah. And Jesus never failed. Jesus never failed. Hallelujah. But many people. Because they believe in their feeling and their thought. I think that I have seen in my heart. I still have the evil thought. How can I say that all my sins are forgiven? I still feel that not the evil thought in me. How can I say that I'm righteous and it does not make sense? So many people, they follow their feeling and their thought. Why? Because also there is a there must be the clear the cause of this kind of belief. The reason why you know, people believe that they are sinners, it is because sin according to the eyes of man and the sin according to the eyes of God are different. Many people call the evil thoughts and evil actions sin. And I'm sure that there is no one who does not have the evil thought and evil actions in this world. Even I myself, I have it. Even in the Bible, Abraham had it. David had it. Even the Apostle Paul had it, even Peter had it. Because the Bible clearly says, no one does good, no, not 
have If we just you know the change, this you know the subject of no one to everyone. No one does good. No one does good. It means that everyone does evil. Are we together? So everyone does evil. This is what Bible is telling us. So according to the eyes of God, we human beings, we always do evil because that is what Bible tells us. Many people think that uh, in order to receive salvation, I have to stop evil thought and evil actions. But if there was uh, any like the one percent of the possibility for us to quit, for us to stop the evil thought and evil actions in this world, we would have found at least one person throughout the, all the history of this world that no, do, the one who does not, one who has never done the evil things in this world. Did you ever hear anyone, a single person that who has never committed a sin in this world? If somebody said like that, I'm sure that all of us would call that person crazy. Or the greatest liar. Wow, you are very good at lying. You said that you have never had the evil thought. I'm sure that everybody would sense that this man is lying. Dear viewers and dear brothers and sisters, now we are celebrating the Easter. But as I began my lecture, that as a first lecture of this Easter, I really hope that all of us, we think over and over why Jesus went through such a great pain and suffering. Jesus Christ, he went through a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. Yes, Why? Because the wages of sin is death. Not the sin according to our eyes. But sin according to the eyes of God. What is the sin according to the eyes of God? Shall we go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 2? We shall go to the Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. Here the Bible says, For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and the hewn themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Now here the Bible tells us that my people committed two evils. The first one is they have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. They have forsaken me. We forsook God. This is the first evil according to the eyes of God. I'm sure that everybody could do accept this. Ah, yes, this is true. Yeah, we human beings, the Adam and Eve, they forsook the word of God. And they accepted the voice of Satan. Ah, this is so bad. They should not have, you know, the followed the voice of serpent. I'm sure that everybody could do, no? accept what this scripture is telling us. But what about the second evil? The Bible says the second evil is to 
to find they try to find the water by themselves in an easy way bibira ivuga ko icyacha kabiri ariko bageragije kwishakishiriza amazi mu nzira zabo we are separated from the living god you know the who is the fountain of living water twamaze gutandukana n'imana kandi ariyo soko y'amazi y'ubugingo now you see that when you are separated from the living water automatically you have the symptom of thirsty gutegereze neza iyo atandukanye n'isoko y'amazi ugaragaza ibimenyetso by'inyota and then to find to try to find the water i don't think it is the bad things right kugerageza gushaka amazi rero ndibira ko atari ikintu kibi siko bimeze is it a problem to try to find the water ese urumva kugerageza gushakisha amazi ari ikibazo it is not oh, the problem in our eyes icyo nabwo ari ikibazo mu maso yacu however the bible this scripture says that that is the second evil ariko cyane siko kiravuga yuko icyo ari cyo cyaha cya kabiri what does this mean byo no kuvuga iki now you are deceived by satan ubure rwa shuswe na satan one who deceived you is a satan wagushutse ni satan and then satan completely dominate you kandi satan yamaze kukigarurira wese and you become his slave wamaze kumucakara we and then actually one that you need is a savior rero ukeneye no mukiza However Satan deceives you into thinking that you have to handle of you have to take care of this issue by yourself. Ariko Satan agushuka yuko ugomba kwikemurira iki kibazo kubwawe. You have to try your best to, to get rid of the thirsty. Ugomba kuri yo bwabaga ukikiza inyota. You have to get rid of the sin from your life. Ugomba kwikiza icya mu buzima bwawe. You have to stop sinning and live a good life and try to keep the law. Ugomba gucika kubyaho kagerageza kuba ubuzima butunganye ubereza amategeko. It's understandable and reasonable that is why so many people follow this kind of teachings. Bisa ngibyumvikana bigasa nk'ari ukuri nicyo gituma abantu benshi bakurikira imyigishirize nk'iyi. Gases. Emare mane ravuze iti. This is the second evil. Iki nicyo cyacya kabiri. You are in need of a savior. Ukeneye umukiza. You are in need of the somebody who is stronger than the power of Satan. Ukeneye umuntu ukomeye kurenza imbaraga za Satan. But you think that you can handle this issue by yourself. Yamara utekereza ko ushora kwikemura iki kibazo kubwawe. Now this is the second evil in the eyes of God. Icyo rero nicyo cyacya kabiri mu maso y'Imana. Now people they do not understand this point. Ariko ingingo ntibaje bayumva. That's why even now so many people they try to fight against sin by themselves. Imavu kugeza n'ubu ngo abantu benshi bagerageza kurwana n'icyaha bonyine kubwabo. They try to believe in God by themselves. Bagerageza kwizera Imana bonyine kubwabo. They try to forsake their thought by themselves. Bagerageza kureka ibitekerezo byabo bonyine kubwabo. We can't do it. Ibyo ntitwabasha kubikora. We can never overcome the power of Satan on our own. Ntitwazigira tunesha imbaraga za Satan kubwacu. That is the reason why Jesus had to suffer. Nicyo cyagu nicyo cyatumye Yesu agomba kubabazwa. Jesus had to pay for our sins. Yesu yagombye kwishyurira ibyaha byacu. He had to die. Yagombye gupfa. Why? Kuberiki? Because the wages of sin is death. Bora kubihembo by'icyaru urupfu. Jesus who is stronger than Satan. Yesu ukomeye kureza Satan. He becomes your savior. Yaguhinduka umukiza. Hallelujah. That is why Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. Kirishi cyatumye Yesu bambirwa ku musaraba. Jesus had to suffer with clear reason. Yesu yagombye kubabazwa kubw'impamvu ifatika. Jesus the suffer and pain of Jesus Christ. Akababaro ndetse n'uburibwe bwa Yesu Kristo. This does not need to be repeated. Ibyo ntago bikeneye kongera kuzasubirwamo. Amen. Amen. Don't try to crucify Jesus. Uramenye ntukagerageze kongera kubamba Yesu twice. Ishure byiri. Amen. Amen. Being Jesus being crucified at the cross once it is for all of our sins perfectly. Kwa Yesu arabanga kumusaba inshuri imwe ibyo ari bigenewe ibyaha byacu byose burundu. Hallelujah. Starting from today this session where you munsi muri iki kigisho tomorrow dawn service morning and the even the evening and the sunday even the first service and second service we will continuously share the word about this the easter ejo mu gitondo cyakare muri nibature ndetse n'iki kigisho cyo mu gitondo n'icyo ni mugoroba I want all of us to deeply meditate the death of Jesus Christ, resurrection of Jesus Christ. So that that Jesus Christ, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, huh, will not remain in vain in your life. Amen. Jesus did not die in vain. Jesus died for your sins. Jesus 
he succeeded to wash your sins perfectly and forever. That is why we can confirm and we can proclaim that we are righteous. I hope that tonight you meditate it is the pain of Jesus Christ. Amen. As I will speak up to here, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for having given us this Easter conference. Father, Allow us to remember and meditate the pain of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the Son of God and he has the authority in heaven and or on earth. I'm sure that Jesus could have avoided this kind of pain and suffering. But he did not avoid it. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. In order to pay for our sins, he died at the cross. If we really believe in this word, how can we say that we remain in sin and we have to ask for the forgiveness of sin continually? Father, there are so many people who are deceived by Satan and they try to crucify Jesus again and again. Allow our brothers and sisters to have this word in their heart clearly so that the gospel can be preached through our, through our brethren. Father, we thank you. I pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, thank you very much.